now to the growing movement to take down the Confederate flag on the grounds of the South Carolina State House. The state's governor and top law lawmakers there now joining the chorus, calling for it to be removed after last week's shootings at that historic black church. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Columbia, South Carolina for us this morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Somebody just driving by just shouted, take it down. And that's exactly why the NAACP is holding a rally today to get this Confederate flag behind me taken down. And legislators are expected to vote as early as today about whether they'll tackle this issue now. This morning, the chorus of calls hitting a crescendo with increased demands to remove this contentious symbol from South Carolina state capitol. That flag, while an integral part of our past, does not represent the future. It's time to move the flag from the Capitol grounds. Legislators standing beside her in support, including U.S. Senator and GOP 2016 contender Lindsey Graham, who only days ago wanted discussion, but now urging the flag's removal to an appropriate location. Seven other southern states use Confederate imagery in their flags. Three of them, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Florida, also now calling for change. As the nation continues to grapple with the horror of the brutal slayings of nine black churchgoers by accused killer Dylan Roof. The reaction to the decades-long debate is now deeply connected to these pictures of Roof, proudly displaying Confederate images. It's a symbol of division um, amongst everyone in our society. Later this week, President Obama will deliver the eulogy for the senior pastor who died in this massacre. It's also interesting to note that the son of one of the victims told us that if this flag is taken down, then the nine people who lost their lives will not have died in vain. David. It's a powerful thing. Lindsay Davis this morning. Lindsay, we appreciate it.